So instead of telling you about endorphins, I'm going to show you about endorphins. I want you to take this, and if you're watching afterwards, use a pen or skewer or something, put it in between your teeth like this, okay? So in between your teeth, so your teeth are showing. There you go, okay. So they did a study. They took people in a quiet room like this and just sat them there. And they're sitting there like, okay, cool, yeah. And they took blood before and afterwards. And this improved their endorphins. Well, what the heck does this have to do with anything? Well, if you take this away, what's this? <laughs> it's a smile. <laughs> so these researchers found a clever way to turn on the muscles of smiling without telling someone to smile. But it produced the same amount of, uh, same to a lesser degree amount of that endorphins. So this shows that you can fake it till you make it or fake it till you become it. And that's where my example of going from the most pain in, uh, in years to no pain at all with a smile, a smile can sometimes make all the difference. That is one way to activate those endorphins, but there is lots of other ways as well. And these endorphins interact with the brain in the opioid, opiate, opiate receptors of the brain. So these are the things um, like morphine and codeine. But endorphins, there's over 20 different kinds of endorphins that people have researched. Uh, one specific kind they did a pilot study and found that it was more, more powerful than morphine. So that is a really important thing to think of. Again, not every time you smile, it's going to be like a morphine boost, but you can think of those moments in your life where you had a true, pure smile and felt that joy, and that's what's more powerful than morphine. So how do you perform it? Got exercise on it again. Movement is so key, and we're going to talk about managing that. Spicy food and chocolate, sometimes endorphins in, in the food that we actually eat and that's okay. Dark chocolate is the best. Um, the crappy chocolate that you can get uh, over the counter, the O. Henry's, and the, the uh, even though I, I hate to say it, the Reese peanut butter cups, they're not the greatest kind of chocolate to get that endorphin response. But it still would get a bit. Uh, you have acupuncture and pressure and massage, sex, meditation again on the list. Smiling, laughing, laugh gnosis, which is something we're going to do a little bit later too. Um, power poses. So this is from um, Amy Cuddy. Amy, oh, I think that's it. Amy Cuddy. Put the link in it. And I'll find the resource for it. Looked at power poses like Wonder Woman, standing upright, or um, versus something like this. And this produces more feel-good hormones than this. Is that surprising? No. And this is a very, this is a very powerful pose for sure. This is a very powerful pose, um, and the the poses and the postures that you have can influence how you feel. And then doing things that you enjoy. So, uh, just simply engaging in things that you enjoy can be very powerful, and it's hard to do that and sometimes, but that can make a big difference. 